Ladies and gentlemen, the interview that I am most excited for right now. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm very excited because it's so awesome to interview females in MMA in general, but also a female that's getting finishes. I mean, you have the finishes by elbows, by a left hook, and by submission. So what is your favorite way to finish someone? <laughs> Honestly, I don't really have one. I think I go in there, you know, just with my skills and my game plan, and I don't ever search for the finish, but it somehow comes. And I think that that's the exciting part of, of the whole game, you know? It could end any way possible. <laughs> and the left hook is something that I've always struggled with kind of getting that hip power with, but obviously that was what your last knockout was. So when did you really start to feel like you got the flow of a left hook like that? Yeah, you know, I think uh, ever since my boxing coach, Coach Wayne Canberra, he's been in the picture and my fiance, Sean, you know, we've been able to put it together, sharpen up the hands and, and it came with the with the, with the the fundamentals that I've been learning, you know, throughout camps. It, it, it got to showcase through that fight. That's so awesome and that's extra special that uh, your fiance gets to be here as well. Is he going to be the one holding pads for you or do you leave that to a coach? They both do. So he does and my and my boxing coach does and it's a great blend of, you know, striking and then kickboxing and putting it all together. And what would you say your pedigree is more in? The striking? Striking. Yeah, but, but I've been loving ground and that's, you know, was my weakness. So I've been be it's becoming my strength now because I've been, you know, trying to learn as much as I can. So I think on Saturday we'll get to see all the new stuff get put together. That's awesome. And I know that your submission that you had was an arm triangle. I do jujitsu now and that's one submission that I got. Unfortunately, I'm injured right now. So has there ever been a time where you have been injured and you've been able to like mentally grow without, you know, being able to do mixed martial arts? Yeah, you know, um, I'd say it, it makes you really sit back and and study the sport a little bit more. You know, I cognitively, I'd always like to get my fighter IQ up, and I love watching fights. I'm a fan too, so watching fights, not even just you know boxing, but watching wrestling matches, jujitsu matches, just putting it all. It's it's MMA, so getting it all in, yeah. <laughs> and can you talk to us a little bit about your ethnicity and where the name Lady Samurai came from? Yeah, so because uh, you're so beautiful, so we have to talk about it. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm born and raised in Hawaii on Maui. Uh, my dad is a full Japanese, so I'm half Japanese. I'm such a mix. Uh, Hawaii is just like that. So I, I, I say most of the time, Japanese, Portuguese, Hawaiian is is the majority of me, but I'm very, very mixed. Um, yeah. And Lady Samurai, where did that name come yes, from? Yes, um, Lady Samurai. Um, I got that as an amateur, I think just in the gym, you know, someone put it that had a great ring to it and and now the Lady Samurai comes out in the ring, so it's it's, it's a great nickname. Yeah. Yes, it's crazy because you're so bubbly and sweet right now, but you become a demon out there. Lady Samurai comes out and it's going to happen again in a, not really a rematch because the last time you seen your opponent it was in amateur days so how are you looking at this matchup going in yeah you know I've been saying it's not really a rematch we, it's been four years we've both got more experience more skill better mindset so it'll be a whole new fight and it's you know a uh, a professional fight and I'm taking it like that and we'll see what happens on Saturday. And it's awesome that you got to spend some time over in San Diego, I think at either Victory MMA or 10 Planet San Diego? Yeah, so I was at Victory, um, it was awesome and then I got to see, uh, I was at Steel MMA and I got to see like Muay Thai, you know, and then um, I went to Alliance Jiu Jitsu as well. So I got to kind of jump around to a couple gyms and it was amazing to see, you know, a high level of, of skill and to train with people at that level. It was it was a eye-opening experience. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like being Hawaiian, it's so great to be part of Bellator because you know the UFC doesn't have as much of a staple in in Hawaii. So potentially, could you see yourself fighting on another Hawaii card? But then also with Alima there, because I think Alima was calling for a um, a championship fight, and I know you feel like you might want that eventually too. So potentially that could be a card that you both could be on. Oh yes, I love it. You know the energy of Hawaii is just different. Like the the two fights that I watched when Alima fought and her walkout and just oh my gosh the Hawaii fans are just amazing and it was amazing to fight there last in April and I would love to be on another one as well yeah that's so exciting well we cannot wait for this Saturday oh and one more thing so you got to train with uh, Jessica Penne a little bit yes. she's gonna be fighting. fighting yes so uh, I know well 
not necessarily what your prediction is, but when you were sparring with her or working with her, what do you think is going to happen for her Saturday night? Oh, yeah, she's got it, man. She has that fighter spirit as well, and I'm so excited for her. It's, I told her it's a great day to fight, so I, I'm putting all the good vibes out there so she can get that win as well. We love that. We love the good energy. It's Sumiko Inaba. She fights this Saturday at Bellator 286, and we can't wait to see you get that win. Oh, thank you so Take much. care. We're just going to hug because I'm, I'm obsessed with her. <laughs>